Cullen's a wily old fox. I mean, Leicester will know all about that. He used to be on their staff, was a replacement for Please Leicester no! in that 2007 final I was talking about when Leicester were caught out at the line-out. Here's Andrew! Sexton. But it wasn't Cullen. From left to right, there you can see him going. He's got no intent but to make sure he smacks this one quite a long way off the park, so there's no counter attack there. Push. Speece now here is Pina as he bangs it away downfield, miles too far. Adrenaline racing through, and he's belted this into touch 10 meters too far. Okay. We well, made a positive move anyway. He he bolted out from that ruck and he actually did quite well. He caught the All Blacks a little bit on the hop, but he just didn't execute the kick right. But the intent was good. Four man line out. James O'Connor fires it across now to Quade Cooper. His first start on his home ground in the Wallaby number 10 oh, jumper. Oh, and that is too big. So the jitters continue for the men in goal. Would know this ground more than anyone else in the starting 15. And overcooking that one. Ireland switch, not many this side, so Sexton stabs one forward. Excellent kick from Jonathan Sexton. Ireland will have a chance not to jump on their own throw, but to challenge the England line out. Well, England had a pressure line out here, but they were a bit lucky in a sense because Nick East was at least two yards offside when the ball came back then. The ball is passed back into the 22 by the white team, and the ball is kicked directly into touch. So the line-out will be back uh, opposite from where he kicked it. <laughs> so that's a great little example of the new laws, Nisbo. That's exactly what has happened in rugby. Normally, control the line-out, pass it back from the half-back first. And here we see the same kick from behind and the positioning of the ensuing line-out. <laughs> 